Hey folks, Quilly Team here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universe Styles 4. We are Savory Savoy, now Italy, and it'd go and do some looking up in terms of what we can do with trust. And basically it's not a lot. First of all, if we're below 30 trust, that's when um, alliances get automatically broken. So we got a long way to go. It will naturally tick up to the midpoint of about 50. And it looks like the only real things we can do, like if we're allied, then it's going to be fine. It builds up. And if we honor our call to arms, we get lots of trust. But um, the only things we can really do is uh, if we had favor, which we don't have, we could spend that. Otherwise, influencing nation gives us five. Taking on foreign debt also gives five. So we're going to want to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to try to do this basically every time the cooldown comes up. The shame I didn't do this sooner. But yeah, so this should bring up to 20. Um, Memelaki and Separatists over here, which we knew were coming. You're going to go and boop those guys, which is great. Don't mind that. And you guys are on the outskirts of Benin. Well. God, I have a Regency Council. I can't start a war. I'm sick. We're, oh my god, because I don't have a, con a Queen Consort. Oh no, this is bad. Well, okay. It doesn't actually matter over here. It does matter for starting other wars with people who might coalition us. Well, I guess we're going to move you uh, up to the coast. And actually, what I'll probably do is split you in two. Cores, finally. Cores. These are the uh, Tunisian cores over here. I need that sorted this way. Oh, I guess I'm coring these. It's probably it. They would be cheaper, but... You'd think it would sort by, like, relevance, where only show me the stuff I can actually click the button for first. And then sort after? I don't know. Burgundy's been designated into a march by Austria. What is the deal with the rest of the world, man? Religion map hasn't really changed too much, other than reform being eaten a little bit by me, I suppose. Not a lot of Catholics out there. Protestants doing very successful. I'm going to only continue to do more so as I continue to expand. You guys are chilling here, which is fine. You guys are over there, which is all good as well. 67k, that's not doing anything, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I could go and roll a general, right? Do it. You assigned here, and then you can just drill it up. Drill, baby, drill. You're being attritioned over there, but that's going to be fine. Oh, they took control, which is annoying. We didn't get there quickly enough. Going to be some more separatism, but it's hardly the end of the world. But yeah, I'm going to have to go and check the cooldown. I'm betting something like every five years. Like, influence nation. Already influencing. Right. Break alliance. Oh, well, that would be have them break an alliance with someone else. So I don't think the subsidies are doing anything, although they're improving a relationship. They do cap it plus 15, which we're not there yet. So it still improves the relationship. I don't know if it has any impact on other rates. Uh, yeah, we'll quarantine. We're going to have to do that. You're done, and you're going to head back over there. That's good. We can almost walk. We need a little bit more Ottoman coast over here, and then we'll be able to walk every from... We can walk from... Well, basically from Gibraltar to, to Tangiers, practically without having to take the um, the straight. I mean, we don't actually have Tangier, but... Oh, randomly lose some naval tradition. Boo. There, which is fine and dandy. You're going to regroup over there, which is also okay. You're chilling over here. Rebel busting. You don't have a job. Oh, did I? Right, of course. That sort of makes sense. I mean, I guess you were fine, but no, I'll move you up to the coast. Anyway, that's going to be fine. 7k, I know where you are. The uh, 12k? Oh, that's you. Yes. Also okay. Yes, we'll take another bang at the shipbuilding uh, cost and time uh, discount. Let me look at my trade fleet over here, which is up. I'm going to explicitly get you guys to park here for a sec so I can merge you up, because it's annoying me that you are separated. Those are the transports, which is fine. The... like watch you what is going on with the fleet that keeps booping back over there did I oh you know what it's probably newly constructed ships that are heading over there aren't they yes that's exactly what's going on okay you know what? Okay. Well, this is going to be slightly confusing for... That's going to be fine. 
I'm gonna tell all my ships to do that, and I'll have to keep doing this from time to time. Alright, you guys are all lights. Check trade. Seville. Um, buildings, buildings, buildings. Naval force limit, building time, and all those things, and repair. Get that all up in here. That seems like a really good idea. We're not getting a lot of force limit from these guys, because they are, um... Uh, they aren't states, but that's okay. Oh, all my money. Fast. Not like I'm at my force limit, so I probably should have built ships first. But I'm happy about these because there's going to be plenty of repair and construction and things that get 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 done over here. Conversions, conversions done. Be more available there. Okay, that's it for now. We could tech, but we're going to wait until we embrace. Are we... Oh, we're not... Oh, yeah, because we put a bunch into the idea. I'm like, why are we so not far ahead on military? Not behind. Not, you know, as far ahead as I would normally enjoy. You guys and you guys. Here. I know I got some light ships in that big fleet, but we'll just wait until afterwards to uh, to do that. Also, um, we'll double check that we've got all of our ships upgraded to the latest version as well. That could be kind of helpful. Uh, sure, whatever, man. Who's the next rebellion? Algerian, Tunisian, Bulgarian. This area, like that. And then you're still policing over here. Add that. Um, yeah, you can have some money. That's fine. Okay. You over here. Ah! Over this. That's all you need for now. Empire's going up, and we can't start a war. Well, at least that way I don't have to worry about, like, ooh, should I be starting a war? I feel like I'm not being efficient as much as I would like. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, anyway, we don't have enough money to upgrade everything, because we can get three deckers now. Good, but we just spent all our money on something else. Still, not too shabby. Light ships, I will get you to protect trade in Seville. What are we uh, sitting at right now? Only 54%, which is interesting, given that we do have a lot of the land over here. But we are still overextended, and without course, that's going to be part of it. Now that that's done, we can do uh, some more conversions. So please go to work doing that. Thank you very much. Little missionaries. Yep, you're still policing, which is great. One over there. Building ships, still a few are happening, but they're nearly done. Military tech, yeah, we're just gonna let it bank up. But yeah, the uh, institution spread should be Still, okay, I think it was 3,700 last time I checked, so it's down to 3,100. Um, adding more cores, well, they're not going to be states, so that's going to be fine. We're not getting told about making states because we're at our governance limit. Um, yeah, it's awfully green. Just over here, but you are going to go and boop those. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Oh, while we do want to go and um, embrace, we do want to make sure... That we have our highest level forts in those two areas. They're going to be pretty expensive, but I'm going to be okay with it. Conversions are good there. Sure, send more money. Mm. Might be starting to hit a little bit hard. Income 166 right now. Bulgarian separatists. There's no fort right there, so it's not really a surprise that it went so quickly. A few more cores finishing up. What? Oh, yes, we are 100%. What are the requirements for this? We need diplomatic skill of three and not be overextended. We are completely going to abolish slavery for sure. Um, so we're going to get 10 years of increased innovation, which does hurt missionary strength. Increases technology cost. I mean, the thing is, like, there's no way I'm not doing this. So we're going to do that. There's something to be said about, oh, maybe the sweet spot would have been to wait slightly until right before it's time to increase the technology. Which all those... I get a few more pop-ups of that, especially as we expand and gain more territory and take on more places that formerly I was going to say produce slaves. Well, 
didn't really produce the slaves so much as enslaved people. Where's Seville? Seville. Done. 72%. Okay. We don't really need to throw more ships into this, although we don't really have anywhere else to throw them right now. This is still the biggest, best place for us to develop this. It's just going to be harder to get a higher percentage of trade um, without just more uh, expansion or flipping these things. But before we do, port 578. One more month. Start the one in Constantinople, which I'm very excited for. Gems. Ooh, I need. There we go. Uh, we don't need to tax you. Get the points or whatever. Well, it's not hardly any points. But we don't really need a tax level. And again, I'm trying to keep these guys a little bit under control. So yeah, integrating Russia, not really a possibility because it would take us longer than the game right now. Unless we... Um, if we switch over to diplomatic ideas. I mean, but yeah, it's going to be later. I know that we can... I mean, we get more Diplo Rep, which helps us soak things faster. Oh, no, it's influence ideas. Labor Desire goes down. Diplo Annexation costs. I don't know if that hap affects integration. Yeah, I don't know. More ship discount costs. We have a lot of them going on right now. Of course, we also need... Well, how much are we really... Mm, we're getting close to really needing that institution to kick in. Any chance I can yoink more land? Yeah. I mean, we'll get some cranky people, but I'm okay with that. What happens if we get to 100? Okay. A bunch of these are going to get booped automatically for us. Though not all of them. That and that. Hello. There you go. Thank you. I can get that one. These are Venetian noble separatists. Okay, so the... Looks like the Serbian separatists get stopped, unfortunately. So that is lose a lot of money. Yeah, I don't really care. Okay. You're going to auto-boop a bunch of dudes over there, which is fine. You're just watching over here, which is okay. Bum, 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 When you're done, I'm going to get you to run through here as well. Oh. Great advisor died again. Um, I'm going to take the manpower modifier. Uh, am I going to promote you? Well, we could probably wait on the promotion a little bit. Got plenty of points. Still going to wait for the institution to kick in. You're heading over there, which is great. I'm going to do this. That's not well, which is good. Send you to Pisa, and that's going to be okay. ship there all right I like round numbers you know what well no, let's just do those two for now wait a little bit longer we've got so many shipbuilding discounts but we do kind of have to embrace don't we Sort of, kind of. When's the next uprising? Oh, the Tunisian Separatists, where we already have someone ready to babysit that. So that's going to be okay. Versions are happening. Italian Noble Rebels are going to be bought by the French, I guess. Throw in that way, too. That's going to be okay. And get you going. All right. Um, One thing I could do here... I, I can add more provinces to... Our areas, um, our trade areas, and then we don't really have to bear, worry about their religion. Burgess is fine. Uh, uh, Celestria, well, this is all fine, right? If I go here and do this, and add, and add, um, and add over here. I'm not, I don't have enough to make states, so I may as well do this and get some trade power. Now, that might have screwed up some of these conversions. 
Monthly progress of 0%. Yeah, it was nearly done. I could have left it go. That's still converting. That's still converting. Okay. Merchant shipwrecked again. Ooh! a lot of those it feels like well i mean it's the first one in this video and maybe there wasn't one in the previous video but the one before that i felt like we had at least two of those i don't know maybe i'm imagining things three deckers over there let's get up over here merge up with that version's done as well and currently nothing else on the conversion list which must mean we converted everything over here. Or everything that can be, anyway. There's going to be plenty of places left, but they are currently unconvertible. And you are building a fortress right now. Okay. Which is fine and groovy. Building that. Excellent. Yep. Okay. So that's all sorted out. We've got a lot of work to do, but it's like we're just, we're just giving a big death hug so many countries. Spain's got three more provinces on the coast, and then they're completely landlocked. Um, the Ottomans, we still have we still have a fair bit. Uh, I think one more war, we can take all of this coast. That's going to be okay. And then maybe fill in a few of these gaps over here. And then at that point, we can walk everywhere. We might still like to do our ship stuff from time to time. So, they've reached Enlightenment. Good for them. You can merge up, and then you guys can drill. Got a stack here that's not doing anything. Um, are one of the stacks that's doing rebel busting, one over here, for example. You, if you're rebel busting, you don't. So I may as well assign a leader here and get you to drill instead. That just leaves this 27k. That's not doing anything at all. In terms of force limit, yeah, we've got a long way to go. I mean, we're not capped on manpower. Uh, I do want money. Hang on. Let's just wait. Could lower some forts, but... Wars, rebellions, and things could be really annoying if, if the rebellion goes and grabs a fort. Got this one level 8. I guess we're going to keep it there. There's some action that happens down here. Everyone who decides to land troops here and start sieging out, well, then all of a sudden they've got a level 8 fort to deal with. Not the most useful thing in the universe, but what the hell, right? Still building a few ships. I won't queue up anything else right now. Not until we get our institution. Local development or admin power. We'll take the admin power. Right. If I wanted to be able to pop more of these ideas, one of the things... Mm, one of the things I could do is get our capital to 50 development. That's pretty much the only thing I could do. Well, if we get a three-star leader, although I guess it's only temporary, but it would help us accrue, accrue these points a little faster. And there's some really powerful ones in here. Ottomans decide that uh, they didn't get their ass kicked enough. They're going to go after the Commonwealth. Which, I mean, fair enough. That's not going to be a very difficult thing for them. They are against Scandinavia. But we know that that's not as that impressive. I'd love to take another crack at the Ottomans right now. Hell, I'd like to take another crack at anyone. Oh, I have no diplomats currently. Boot na boot. That's one allies, one subject country. Leave the other one as an, an oddball. I can take on your debt again. Now, here's an interesting question. There are 21 trust. Are we getting at another five? Yes, we are. Oh, keep taking out single loans, Ethiopia. That would be lovely. If we go to over 30, I think they'd be willing to ally me. I think that's one of the thresholds. And that completes a mission. And then we can immediately turn around and break our alliance. Well, we don't need to do that. We don't strictly need Ethiopian territory. We wanted some because we wanted some potency in the Gulf of Aden, which we've got now. We really don't need anything else. I mean, we still have centers of trades and things to develop and all that kind of jazz if we want more trade power there, which would be nice, but isn't a big deal. Also, no longer obsessing about, you know, buying territory in random places over here. Stop the colonization. I do sort of wish we may grab that territory, but I guess we'll just have to wait a little bit more. How's our age? We are nine years old. We still have a ways to go. There's the embracing. Down to, ooh, yeah, it did get discounted a fair bit. Um, I mean, we may as well wait until this is, well, we're at our limit, and we're, you know, we're about to max out on our Monarch Car, because we might get more of a discount. Plus, uh, well, we're still not going to spend on those two, because we're still so far ahead of time. Heretics go. Nice. No other conversions right now. Royal Marriage with Pomerania ended. Um...
mean, unless we wanted the Diplo slot for something else. No, screw it. You know what? I like being friends with Pomerania. They've got those cute little dogs. Oh, I was going to say yes to access. Sorry, Commonwealth. It went away too quick. It'll be really funny to finish uh, the work on Spain. So we got about 100 years left to the game. But I think we're in a pretty good place to keep sort of hammering on here. We're going to get slowed down a little bit with this... Um, Oh, right. Where am I supposed to go? Merchants. Merchants prepare for war being removed from Italy. Who am I supposed to go to war with? Just foreign privateering? Declare war upon those who use dishonest practice. So. Well, that's what that's for. I'd lose the stability, and I'd lose this bonus. Well, I mean, I may as well keep hitting this. I could spend a little bit of money and still be able to embrace. I'm going to go up to 100 heavies. Here, buddy. Great Britain. I can't believe Spain still has some territory over there. If we take out the rest of Spain over here, we can eject them to Scotland. That's just their home now. That would be pretty hilarious to me. Ottoman Eastern Europe. I like how we have split them up. Ottoman Moria. And yeah, they're going to have a harder time moving around, although they, they may have had access rights for this war because of various things that happened. That's fine. Oh, there was a, a conversion available. Oh, Thessalonica! So right over here, where we have the fort, we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, and it's not currently in a trade company. Because that's probably... Yes, it's in the Ragusa node where I didn't add it. Um, do we care about converting? I could just cancel and then add it in here. Yeah. Try to remember to add yeah, more, more stuff in the Ragusa trade node afterwards. Um, we don't currently have a merchant here. Right, because we don't have to steer. We don't have a merchant here because there's only one place it can go, which is Ragusa. The more trade power we have here, the more is going to get transferred, but a merchant doesn't really add trade power. He's mostly there for the steering, or for the collecting, you know, one way or another. So we have the one extra merchant. Let's take a look at Ethiopia. How are you doing there, Ethiopia? Nothing right now. How's our trust? 26. Okay. You want to take out more debts, man? I really won't complain. I'll be your sugar daddy. Okay, we still have some space there. Maybe what I'll do, just because it's kind of annoying me. 200 light ships. Oh yeah, we could do a bunch of ship upgrading too. That's the other thing, which currently I can afford. Uh, 200. You know, it's actually surprisingly okay. We're still making money really quickly. I think I will hit the upgrade ship button here. You know, we're going to keep these galleys around for the the next big Ottoman war. Clearly, there's still a lot of value there. If we find ourselves in war, like, out in the ocean, we're going to have to be careful about what we do with the galleys. Oh. All right. There you go. I already have enough to embrace the institution once more if I want to. But yeah, we may as well wait a bit more. We can save up to 1,100 power. Just embrace, and then tech tech. Real quick. Uh, yeah. Blockading ports. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's who are you allied with, if anyone? You're currently in a war. That's interesting. Can't start a war because I have a Regency Council. That actually might be a fairly convenient target for us. Keep the troops here for now, that's fine. We get to the point we're so big right now, it's actually hard to like babysit all the things. Oh, we might be over a hundred heavies. Might have to build some other magic number to get a round number. Um, yeah, I don't want the plague to keep spreading. Oh, we have to do something. Okay, we can't embrace right now, but we'll be able to embrace like in a split second, basically. How you doing, Ethiopia? I need, I need a pop-up for when this becomes available. They like me a lot. I mean, they're terrified of me. And they still want some of my provinces. Um, nope, keep waiting. Keep drilling. All right, nothing too exciting happening, but this is what it, yeah, see? Um, what I'm going to do here is, I don't want to cancel all of them. 
Can I access the queue? There it is. Cancel. Cancel. Excellent. That'll leave us at 100. Okay. Uh, you have plenty of buildings. That's okay, too. We'll probably do a little bit more building afterwards. Or just work our way back up to the force limit. Or, um, let me just check to see if there's any high-value manpower buildings right now. I suspect not so much. Might still be worth doing the 500s. Sure. Just to get a little bit more. Not only raised our cap, but raising our cap increased the amount that we get. I became idle, so there's not a whole heck of a lot going on there anymore. I don't know. Maybe since I have a, an extra guy kicking around, maybe we'll go back to um, counter espionage against the Ottomans, because apparently that's still something they might want to do. I don't know. Ethiopia? No. Come on, buddy. It's still going to drift towards 50 naturally. We'll have time there. I guess we can increase the speed. It's so quiet. There's nothing happening. I don't know how to deal with this, you guys. Well, I guess what I am going to do is I'm going to go and get you to conform to a temple. I don't have to spend the money right now. Be okay. Thessalonica has been converted. Um, I think that's it. I don't think we're working on any other conversions. Uh, there's this one, but I'm expecting it's not progressing. Yeah, 0%. Cancel you. That's going to be okay. And I'm going to add provinces trade over here. Potentially a little more trade power. It's also 63 at the end of the month. 64. Not much of a change, but I guess it's going to be something. Okay. I think that's it for all our trade companies. I think we're caught up to where we'd want to be. Oh. Not another screen, like, on the ledge or anything like that that makes this a little bit easier, right? Um, even if I could make a trade company over here, which I can't, I would want to there. Um, that's already done. That's done. That's done. Over here, there's nothing. Congo is nothing. Here, we're done. I'm going to have to just do this from time to time. Oh, there may even be some stuff, like, over here. Well, some of it we bought and went to them automatically. None of these are quite as important. What the heck, right? I don't think we've got anything around here. I don't know if we've got anything around there. No. All right. Done and done. All right, we're getting close to the new cap. Are we going to be able to... I don't know going to be able to spend all that Diplo power. Ah, uh, broken province. So we end up losing the stability at some point anyway. That's okay. Now, our first idea. Liberty Desire, same continent subjects. Artillery damage from back row, 20% is huge. Um, I don't think the coring distance bothers as much, although it might help with air, but that's going to be fixed soon. Uh, the naval engagements are really useful. Free force march is also nice. Artillery bonus versus fort, so we can siege things down faster. Although if they're not building stuff, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we don't worry about liberty desire. I think we're going to go for artillery damage right now. Build things a little bit better. I think that's one of our goals. How old are we? 12 years old. Soon. Soon. Begin. 11.37, so... Not much. You're totally idle as well. France is no longer considered a great power. So it's us by a million miles. I mean, especially we're going to become this number soon. Not even close. Even Ming is, like, not in great shape. France might suddenly find itself back in here if it uh, embraces Enlightenment. Depending on how things go there. That's funny. Ethiopia? Take on some debt, man. Go to war with someone. No one's going to declare on you because you're you're guaranteed. Wow, you're big. Ethiopia's been really doing well this game, despite the fact that I've spanked it a few times. Wow. There go exactly a hundred. We don't really need more transport ships. We have actually keep capturing some. We're near max, but we're not at max. We can go another couple of months. I do like that they have the near max warning though. A lot of money. Um, actually, I can afford the stability hit, because I could afford to increase it. I mean, honestly, we'd had enough money to embrace again in a second anyway. Okay, many truces end. I'm a little worried about our coalition status that's going to happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to embrace now. I'm going to take this, give us more military tech, which is nice. 
Now, what we could do here is I could take separations of power and maybe take diplo ideas, which diplo ideas, I mean, seem like a decent thing. We've got plenty to do. I mean, the ship stuff is good. And don't think diplomatic ideas is what we're looking for. Although the stab hit thing is kind of fun. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to take... Um, I want to take level 1 of expansion and maybe colonize over here. No, we don't need to do that. I want to take espionage ideas? Don't fabricate claims. The aggressive expansion would be okay, I guess, but not really a big deal. Maybe I'll just take maritime ideas. Sure. So we're going to take this. It's expensive, but it's going to be okay. And then we'll take maritime ideas. And then use this to burn our Diplo. We get... Tradition protecting trade, sailors, ship maintenance. Yeah, okay, that's all fine, whatever. Not not super concerned one way or another about how any of that might go. All right, counter espionaging over there. I mean, there might be some other people doing some nefarious spying stuff, but I don't think we're worried. Go ahead and get the new type of cannon, which will reset some of our morale numbers a little bit, which is fine and dandy and groovy. We got the tech. We still have a lot of military power. How far are we? Are we still 10 years ahead on military? Yeah. Good news! Printing press gives benefits. Get more points. Um, government reforms. Can I hit this button? I can. Lovely. A little more governing capacity. We're still above our limit, unfortunately. Ooh, but we can get the next Diplo idea. So let's do that. What is this? Naval force limit modifier. Well, we're not even at our force limit, but... That's 10 years of national unrest throughout the whole nation. No, we'll lose innovativeness, and we'll just have to deal with that. Are we building more ships? Um. Oh yeah. So that's one and that's the other. Okay. We are protecting trade already. Haven't merged up. Hmm. I don't know. You know, it's got so much more money. So much money. I don't think we're really going to be sending our ships all over to protect trade. I think the only thing we're really interested in building right now is more heavies. Our <laughs> force limit is nearly 900. Now, there's a few things I was talking about spending money on. Buying territory, increasing some of our trade buildings. Actually, that might not be a terrible idea. Um, over here, let's go and not upgrade you. Only upgrade a center of trade in a state or trade company. Oh, it's not. Are you part of the same state? I think I'm going to state you. I know we're over our limits. It's going to have to be okay. To say I can't get another top level one, but that's okay. We got a level three and we've got a level two. We might also want to look at trade power buildings. Constantinople, Cadiz. Yeah. And then we're out of money. I could build this one. We must already have one version of it in Pisa. Yeah. All right. So we'll just finish the upgrade and that's going to be okay. We might be able to move our ships around. That's a lot of money. We'd have to take out loans. Now we'll just piss off the burgers. That's okay. Can I uh, seize more land? And well, let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and make sure these guys have some morale. I'll just wait till December. Just give them one pick of morale. They don't... Don't weirdly get insta-boop. Not that I really think it's going to be a problem. Now, I'm wondering, if they have zero land, do they have zero power? They're at zero percent already, but there's some rounding errors. Hundred percent! Hasn't changed for maximum autonomy, which is really what I was hoping for. Hmm. All right. like that. You're going to do something like that. You're on auto boop, so you're going to start moving on your own. Um, something like that. Okay. They might win a couple of sieges here and there, but I'm not too concerned. Yeah, 100 years left of the game. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. But we have 100% ownership over our territory. And no one can tell us otherwise. I could grab the next military tech. We're going to have to... We're going to have to pretty soon. 
Um, I can strengthen government, but we don't actually have anything to do there. I could develop. We actually may want to do that. We're so far ahead. In fact, maybe I should have just done that with, um, with our admin and diplo as well. I'm already going to go and boop those guys, so we'll just do that, and you can go and stand over there, and then that's looking okay again. Uh, you here? That's everything. You are a three decker. You're supposed to be up over here. It takes a long time to build some of these ships. Got a ton of money again. Let me go back to trade. Sort. Um, might stop there. I'm not sure we really need any more trade power than that. I'm going to go there. You're going to go to Pisa. You're going to go to Luca. And war can come relatively soon. What's our income right now? 156. I mean, we've seen crazier. But it's pretty good. France has insulted me. I was going to say, oh yeah, I should do insult. Wait, am I 100%? We still only have one rival. Great powers. Yeah, Great Britain is embraced, and it's still, like, it's not passing Spain or Portugal. Well, Portugal has embraced, though. Spain's probably going to be soon. Just still chilling over there. Uh, you can go back to drilling. I have a general. I don't care about development, so we'll do this. I was going to say, yeah, we're full there, but I think, yeah, we have room for another general. And I could roll a few to get, you know, try to get some really good stats for one. But I don't think it's a big deal. Do this, and I just realized, I don't think you've got your full complement of dudes. So let's get that going on there. So my capital now is Rome. Oh, we've embraced. I have to do, and then we're going to wrap this up. I have to do the thing where we um, cancel all of our policies. Right now we're spending extra to do this. We do have the one new state that doesn't actually have a policy going. Because I was just thinking like, oh, I could do the reduced development cost thing. And I think I will. And we might actually just bring Rome up to 50 just so that we can power through more of those things. And, you know, doesn't Rome deserve it? I'd say so. It seems like a spiffy city. Or at least it could be spiffier. Edict. Edict. All right, folks, thanks for watching. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.